is a failure channel earthquake for general deal. You mentioned uh, looking at the, the NASA chart with the various fault trees and fish bones. It appears to be a, a piece about uh, 0.3 meters by 0.4 meters uh, of undetermined uh, uh, composition. As a matter of fact, the Air Force Research Lab at uh, Wright-Patterson Air Force Base is going to be working with NASA to do some tests uh, based on radar re reflectivity, what type of material it could be. So that test uh, is not underway yet, but that's uh, on, on the books to take place. So they followed this piece, and it, it was characteristic of something accompanying the shuttle, and then it started to separate from the sh shuttle. It started as a, uh, initially semi-stable and a slow rotation, then as the shuttle went away, it had no propellant. It didn't stay with the shuttle, uh, making its maneuvers. And it uh, did a characteristic re-entry of uh, something of that, uh, of that size. What appears to be at the ends here, here and here, are essentially... It's the one that, sh that has the very extreme heat damage to it. And uh, whether that damage was caused while it was still on the shuttle or after it broke up or something like that, we, we have a lot of investigating to do. We, we don't know that. We don't know that. But this, this heat damage, this heat damage on this tile is not re-entry damage of a, of a shuttle. It's not what they look like when they come back. It should be smooth, and it should be slightly gray. Very, very slightly gray. Smoky and, and smooth. Maybe a couple little tiny pocket marks in it.